Here we are, so this video is just for you, man. I know you wanted to see Forza Horizon 5. Uh, you wanted to see me give it a go. So uh, here we are, and we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna first go right into the settings and see what's going on with the force feedback for this game. I haven't heard uh, great things about it, so... Probably advanced controls, I would imagine. Huh? This option switches the controls for shift up and shift down. Um, yeah, we want that stuff, right? Oh, switches the controls. No. Steering access dead zone. Yeah, we don't want any of that. Oh, we don't want any of that. Try that. I tried this game out once uh, a long time ago. It's very uh, arcadey, if I remember correctly. And I had a real hard time getting a grasp of like the handling for the game because everything just felt like it was like, uh, I don't know, like, there's really no description for the way the cars feel in this game. <laughs> like they're all drift cars, maybe, is a good way to, to describe it. All right, how do I get into a game here? Go. Ooh, I have a Viper. It's probably not the easiest car to drive, I would imagine. Okay. Do we have a clutch? Oh wow, interesting. So right off the bat, I can tell you that the force feedback is like way too much. Like, look at this. What the heck? What is that? How the f freak? All right. Hold on, we gotta go figure that out. The wheel is just uh, like going out of control for no reason at all. We're driving five miles an hour, turning left and the wheel's like janking back and forth. <laughs> there we go, holy crap, all right. Well, something's going on that's making this uh, like super, super wonky. So we gotta figure that out. This sets the mapping between input and steering. Lower bars from more accurate near the center. Uh, how about I just want it normal all the way through? I don't know. I guess 50. Vibration scale? Is that what's causing it to... I don't know. Let's try putting this all the way down to uh, point 0.1 and see what happens, I guess. There's really not a lot of settings here, so I might have to go into the wheel itself to get this to work. Let's see if we have that weird, uh, let's see if we have that weird, uh, yep, it's still there. What in the heck? Um. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Uh, let me go into settings one more time and make sure I didn't miss something. I mean, that's what this turned all the way down to like nothing. So let's go in to the force feedback in the wheel. What happens if we put this on medium? Let's try that. Yeah, sorry, you got to bear with me as I figure all this out. This is uh, definitely not doing performing the way that it should. Okay. Nah, uh, something's really like messed up with this. Uh, 
All right, well, let's go see drive around for a tiny second. Oh my gosh, dude, what the? So look, if I make like this little tiny, I mean like little, it's like the whole car's doing 360s with uh, with about three inches of, uh, with about three inches of, uh, of turning, the car does a 360, like that's that's not normal. A car doesn't, that's not how you turn a car in a circle. <laughs> okay, so how do we fix that? I don't know what it is with Forza and whenever they, and all their driving games, why the wheel is so bad. Like, I just don't, uh, I just really don't understand it. I don't know what's wrong. Like, uh, this mapping uh, provides accuracy near the center, but last, see, this isn't what we need. We need like nine more, we need like a 1500 more degrees of rotation in the steering wheel. Uh... And there's just no settings in here to fix anything, really. So we're gonna have to do it through the wheel. So, here, yep. Uh, let's see. So what I'm finding is in game, there's really nothing that's going to. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't know. I mean, maybe I can go watch someone else's YouTube video or something. But nothing in there looks like it's gonna matter at all for what this wheel's doing. So let's go to the wheel. Let's set our rotation like way up here somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the game has like 200 degrees or 100 degrees to full lock or something. Like it's, it's insane. Well, I'll go up here to like 1800. We'll try that. Let's see how this does. So for some reason, the, 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 the steering itself is not delayed. So like the, there is like a huge dead zone in the middle though. Like look at this dead zone. What in the heck is going on with that? Why do I have like six inches of dead zone in the middle of the wheel? Uh, I doubt, I, I'm pretty sure I have the dead zone set at zero. It's as low as it goes on this wheel. Yeah, it's all the way turned down. Okay, so did I miss a dead zone setting somewhere in here? Controls has nothing but inputs, okay. Steering axis dead zone is literally set at zero. Okay. So uh, it's already set at zero. So it's just like either the uh, the wheel is not interacting with the game properly or the game or what something is definitely janky with uh, I mean, it's like I can't even keep the car straight because there's so much. It's like having a, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever owned a car in real life where you've got a big, like, where you've got a, like, bad bushings or something. I mean, it's what this feels like driving it. It's like there's no, there's no, uh, like, fine-tuned, like, look at what, I, look at the wheel. And then when you finally, then when you finally get, like, it to start turning, you're like, it's like, it's like all or nothing, right? So it's like. 
there is no small turning. It's like you hit it and you're just like spinning out the moment that the wheel gets out of the dead zone. Yeah, I mean, this is un this is literally undrivable. It is near impossible to do this. I, it's, I, it's like there's no, it's not very intuitive. Like I have no idea how much to turn the wheel to make the car do what I want it to do. So like, you, as you can see, I'm driving and there's nothing, right? Like there's no, no, you can see me turning the wheel. Nothing's happening. Okay, now watch. When it does start to do, so when it does start to finally grab, like, holy cow, what in the freak? Then when it does start to grab, your turning angle's like super sharp. Yeah, this makes no sense at all to me. I mean, it's uncontrollable, like uncontrollable. I'm gonna give it a little. Oh yeah, just 140 miles an hour, just uh, just rail around the corner. <laughs> this is definitely a different beast of a game. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Like, could you get used to this? Uh, yeah, I would say, like, you know, any, you can get used to anything with enough practice, but, like, would you want to get used to this, and why would you torture yourself? I'm gonna, like, give it some more time to try to figure this out for you, man, before I say it's a no-go, you know, just in case there's, like, something I'm missing that's gonna fix this. And then, like I said, there's nothing in game. There's like no settings in game to do anything. So there's no way to fix it in the game. 50% uh, on the wheel seems to be a lot better than where it was. It, you can't have the force feedback on the wheel turned up at all. If you turn it up, I mean, the whole game just goes freaking crazy. Your wheel just goes crazy when you're just like stopped. So we'll have to do something. Uh, I mean, honestly, so to be honest with you, that in itself, like not being able to turn the force feedback up on the wheel inside game makes this useless to buy for this game. Like why buy this wheel if you can't use the force feedback, you know? And like the only way I'm even able to get the car slightly drivable is by putting force feedback on medium or low. I have 0% spring. We don't have any damping. damping. Let me try 50% damping and then turn the force feedback up a little bit more. Maybe the dampening will fix it. Let me get my uh, real wheel rotation back down. I, when I turned the wheel rotation up, it got like a weird uh, dead zone in the wheel. So we're gonna go back to here again. Also, when I shift, there's like a gigantic delay in the shift. I don't know if that's just supposed to be like a mechanic of the game, you know, like your car's not upgraded, so it takes a while to shift. Probably, I'm guessing, because it's it's probably trying to simulate like an eight shifter, I would imagine. And I guarantee you, if I hopped on a controller, like this game would immediately be playable. You know what I mean? Like, so it's, it's, I just don't, I just really, really don't think this game was designed for a wheel. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's like very little thought uh, put into it. 
And for sure, do not sp for sure do not spend six hundred and fifty dollars on a wheel uh, to play this game. I would say if you're looking for a wheel to play Forza Horizon, like you're good with uh, something much cheaper, because you're just not there's just you're just not going to get the uh, you're just not going to get the, uh, the to be able to use all the, the the feedback. Like when you turn the feedback up, basically the wheel just turns into a seesaw going back and forth anytime you turn it. Like. There's really no reason for it, right? Like it's not like, oh, you're on the limit, so your wheel's starting to to uh, to 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 give you some force feedback. It's like, oh, you tu you turned, <laughs> oh, you turned at three miles an hour, so here's your wheel seesawing back and forth. Like it just doesn't make any sense, you know. Oh, I don't have any traction control on like a 1200 horsepower car, so it's it's a little interesting to drive. I really want to try the clutch and see how that works. It's like it's almost like there is no clutch right now. Does this game have a clutch? Let's find out. But try that out. Uh, difficulty maybe? Manual with clutch. Oh, we already have a clutch. Okay, that's weird. Is the clutch not working? Oh, okay. That makes sense. I did not know that uh, clutch was on, so... That, that explains the shifting. Oh yeah, much better. I think these speeds are a little, probably not too really realistic. I can see how this could be a fun game though. So yeah, I don't know how much longer we need to spend in here really going over this. Uh, I would say that uh, just my initial impressions, uh, like I said, I don't know if getting a force feedback wheel with this much power, I know 7.2, uh, Newton meters is not like the highest you can get, but I'd say that it's like way more than you need for a game like this. This is more, uh, it's more arcadey, you know, like I'm almost tempted if I was going to play this, uh, like long term, I would almost be tempted to turn the force feedback almost off, you know, just turn it like all the way down because it's just, it doesn't, I don't feel like the force feedback does anything to help you be fa like help you be faster or help you be more efficient in any way, you know, I'm just going to be honest. This car is just uh, way too fast for someone who's never played this and doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, we, we finally found that we can eventually go too fast for a corner. <laughs> it just took a long time. So if you're going like 230, you can't go around a corner. I don't even think we need first gear or second. I think third gear is like our starting starting gear in this car. <laughs> Let's 
The clutch is working uh, pretty good, by the way. So yeah, I think we're gonna end it there. Or right, before I get some really bad driving habits. <laughs> Dink. Uh, hopefully that was, uh, I don't know, entertaining or at least educational in some way for you. All I can give you is my opinion, obviously. I cannot give you uh, like, you know, I'm not a professional Forza uh, Horizon player. I can just tell you that if I was buying a wheel and this is the game that I was playing, I would not invest the money on this wheel for this game. So, yeah. Hope that helped. Uh, real quick, I wanted to show you what I was talking about uh, without playing the game. So you can see that we are stopped. The car is stopped on the track, right? Now, look at the wheel. And I will, we are not even moving in the game, okay? You see the... And that is on... That's on high. Now if we put it on medium force feedback... It still does it. There's literally no helping this game with any setting in-game settings I can find. Sorry, man.